Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB today in the arena. Jin Gitaxis, Progress Tyrant, Historic Brawl. Jin and I have had kind of an awkward relationship ever since a certain incident involving a bridge. But we can put that behind us, you know, from time to time and do some proper battles on MTG Arena in the good old Historic Brawl format. But I have to disappoint you. Um, I have to disappoint, disappoint you right up front. It's not totally a Jin Gitaxis Progress Tyrant command, like deck. The, like Jin, Jin is fine. Jin's gonna come out plenty of times and do his thing, and you know, and then big old claw and copy and counter something, and maybe somebody will salty scoop for it. I don't know. But um, sadly, to everybody, to, much to the chagrin, in order to have a good competitive historic brawl deck, you can't just have a Jin Gitaxis deck, guys. You gotta, you gotta base it around good cards. He totally, don't worry, he, he doesn't hear you. He doesn't hear what I'm saying right now, don't worry about it. Um, Paradox Engine, we're secretly, not so secretly, a Paradox Engine deck, not a Jin Gitaxis deck. Jin Gitaxis Progrant Tyrant is an excellent way to kind of set us up for good Paradox Engine turns, obviously. If we can duplicate cards like, I don't know, Time Warp with Jin Gitaxis, it's very, very powerful. If we can play a Jin Gitaxis and duplicate our mana rocks so that we have more of them, it's very, very powerful. But we do need a way to actually win the game. And Jin swinging for five doesn't always, it's not that reliable. If you've ever played the card in standard, you know exactly what I mean. But Paradox Engine and Tome of the Infinite, now that is a combo. So. I, I think I first started making Paradox Engines, Tome of the Infinite decks. God, I don't re even remember. I started playing a lot more histor historic brawl on the beaches, the sunny beaches of Miami during my little break at the beginning of January. I made a lot of historic brawl decks. At one point, I think I had 14 different Paradox Engine combo decks, of all of which might get shared with you at some point here on the channel. Um, but yeah, I... I consistently build Paradox Engine combo decks to just kind of pop off. You play some Mana Rocks, like, you know, any of these. You play Paradox Engine, and you cast, you have some engine that lets you create a lot of spells or something that taps for value, and then you just never stop. You do it infinite. So Tome of the Infinite, great name, is that card anytime you're playing a blue deck. You can play Tome of the Infinite and Paradox Engine and go infinite, because every single time you use Tome of the Infinite, you conjure a random card from the spellbook into the hand. They're all one mana spells, and you can use mana as though it were any color to cast them. Okay, it's not technically infinite because there is one stupid card in this spell book that you can't actually cast. The, the other ones, as long as there's a creature on the battlefield, as long as you have a target, you can cast them like swords. Obviously there has to be a creature to target, but usually creatures are on the battlefield. You can get away with it. There is a force spike in this spell book. So if you hit like multiple force spikes in a row, sometimes you're just stuck. <laughs> Although that, I mean, as long as you have a spell that you can put on the stack, you can force spike your own target. Anyway, Tome of the Infinite can brick if you force spike too many times. But for the most part, once you have Tome plus Engine and a, a couple of mana rocks, you have endless mana, and eventually you'll hit enough lightning bolts with Tome of the Infinite or Ponders to draw through your deck that you'll just win the game. So it's a very fun combo deck. In order to get your Paradox Engine, the core of the deck is usually going, going to revolve around a couple tutor things. Uh, Trophy Mage can go get your Tome of the Infinite, so it's an important inclusion that not everybody has crafted already. Solve the Equation is a card that can search for Whir of Invention. Whir of Invention Invention is a blue, blue, blue X to improvise. Search your library for an artifact card with X or less mana value, put onto the battlefield. This gets you your Paradox Engine. Another tutor in the deck for Paradox Engine that not everybody has sitting around or crafted is Inventor's Fair. This says four and a tap, sacrifice it, search your library for an artifact card, reveal it, put it into your hand. Only if you have three or more artifacts. So these are, you'll see these in most of my decks as ways to get the combo pieces. You'll see a lot of decks have Solve the Equation, Tome of the Infinite, Trophy Mage, and uh, 
several mana rocks, like around 14, 15 mana rocks, were of invention and inventor's fair, because the goal is to basically stall the opponent or play some kind of a mid range back and forth game until we can get Paradox Engine with some mana rocks and just go off. And when we do, we often take all of the turns or generate all of the value, whatever it wants to be. To satisfy the hunger of the progress tyrant, Jin Gitaxis, I'm also running at least some cards that would be very fun to duplicate with Jin's ability. We talked about Time Warp, that's an obvious one, but I also have Snowlands and the card Graven Lore, which can be very fun to draw a lot of cards and scry a bit. We have Boon of the Wish Giver, which draws a lot of cards, Discover the Formula. You get it. I mean, drawing cards is fun, right? Seagate Restoration, let's go. Uh, Blue Sun Zenith, why not? So, yeah, we've got a splattering of counter spells to stall, a splattering of cards like Witness Protection, which are amazing in Commander. Frogify is another one. Kazmina's, Kazmina's Transformation? There it is. Transmutation is another one. Mystic Subdual is another one. Enchantments that say Enchant Creature loses all abilities and is a blank those are very good in commander because you put them on commanders and then the commander doesn't do the thing that the deck is built around also stealing commanders entrancing melody invoke the winds mass manipulation so yeah it's a very fun deck i think it's also a work in progress i built it on this stream um the first two games i played are not going to be because uh, i definitely had the deck misbuilt and it still has some things that it could be doing better i think but we're on the right track it's not so much a counter spell deck as i originally built it it's much more of a ramp deck so we're gonna dive in and we're gonna terrorize the competition by teaming up with our next Nemesis, Jin Gitaxis Progress Tyrant. Enjoy the historic brawl content. Let's dive in. Let the nonsense begin. Well, Ginny Fey rematch. Let's see if they have a turn two Legion War Boss this time. We are on the draw again. We have the Whelming Wave. We have no plays for the first two turns. On the draw, no ramp. That normally means you lose the game. So I think we have to mull. We'll try this. I will steal your Jennifer. Eh? Mine. What if you had no abilities? Yeah? How about them apples? Nice one three. Vanilla. Let's get the tome cooking. Our opponent actually did nothing last turn. Dragon. All right. That's a flex. No fog. Mine? Cool deck, let me play it. Flower. Search your library for a basic force or planes card. I don't yoink a gold dragon often, but when I do, begin anew. Okay. Opponent blows up their own commander and creature. Two duress, really? Let's hit this land drop. Close, but we got there. Oh, Chadwick. 
Hello, Chadwick, my old friend. I've paid your mana cost again. Dark Ritual. Gilded Lotus. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, baby. Rawr! To the top rope. What you got over there? Nope. And nope. And done. This is the way. This is the way. 666 viewer, it's spooky. Lock the chat, nobody leave. No need for Lear when popping off. That wasn't popping off. XJ9, you must be one of those idiots who really don't let things go. I'll show you popping off. And then you just have to be internet silent. Oh wait, you won't. You'll find your next garbage opinion to spew until somebody blo boils over. Just learn to shut it. <laughs> Take the keyboard from them. Your parents should have taught you. You really, 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 really don't don't need to be expressing yourself this way. Who's going in witness protection? Croxa? Nope, that's Kalein. Whoa, Kalein. Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but then who would amuse you? How good is Dark Ritual? I mean, it depends when you draw it and what you have, I guess. It's pretty good with Jenga Taxes. Cold, cold heart. Hardened by you. Some things look better, baby. Just another citizen. I don't like that card. Although I could have used those for improvise, which would have been funny. I can't wait. Dark Ritual is a boomer card? Nah, Dark Ritual is a zoomer card, man. Go, go, go! More mana now! Faster! Wish I had a land. Really wish I had a land right now. Chillax. We're chillin'. We're chillin'. Turn one Hypnotic Spectre. <laughs> Got to do that in a Pro Tour. My Pro Tour deck had four copies of Dark Ritual in it. I was indeed Zoomer. I wasn't smart enough to play Turn 1 Necro. I played Black without Necro. And kind of, uh. Maybe I shouldn't tell people that. They'll lose respect for me. But there was a time. There was a time where I wasn't the only one who thought Necro wasn't good. I wasn't the only person in the world with the wrong idea of that card, okay? In fact, I would say the majority 
The majority were out of the loop on Necro. People in the loop looked really smart. <laughs> Is opponent gonna play cards or what? I mean, that's Jin mana, but I think if we're actually going to flip this map, then we don't need it. There we go. There we go. Okay, what do we need here? We've already got the Whirr. So we need a way to generate a lot of mana. We can't get an artifact with this, though, so I guess we need card draw. We need a lot of card draw. To the moon! We go to 11. I've just been taking this beat down the whole game, no big deal. Could have gotten slip out the back and just gin guarded, but I have a feeling they've got multiple ways around a gin. They've only cast three spells this whole game. They're Commander, Valky, and Relic Robber. I need another mana rock, but... Oh, well. Hey! Cool. We pass. We'll discover the next turn and start deploying this stuff. Should be good. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Opponents are coward. They won't, they won't make any moves against us. They don't have the intestinal fortitude. Chat, have you do you know the formula? The formula. Paradox engine. Plus mana rocks. Alright, we got some mana rocks cooking. Let's go. Come on, opponent, do something. Impress me. <laughs> I mean, okay. <laughs> For a five. Let's see if they've got Coligan's command, huh? Or a braid or something. I mean, they got five cards they're not using. You got it? I got to untap with this. Well then, we're three mana up. How do we use it to go the distance, huh? Say hello to our friend. Maybe now they try to kill Jin? What do you think? Can they do it? 
countered. And again. Doom Blade. No. Oh no, what shall we do? Okay, it does. To the command zone. We got our doubling. Little Miss Vixen with one, two, three, four, five. Gifted subs, thank you very much. We're trying to do right by Jenga Taxis. Plenty of mana to bring him back. I mean, it's just kind of a reset, right? We just played again, potentially. There are some things that have to go right. Opponent giving me the rope out here. Do they not? I don't think they like what's going to happen. I think I'm going to stand by too many counter spells. I think you need a certain amount. I think I just have too many in this deck. Okay. Now the fun part. QQ, baby. And we got Tome, so this is just game. Potentially. Giant growth, not quite it. <laughs> One mana spells. Cheap spells, thank you. Oh! See, I told you. Nobody has, nobody has the fortitude to sit through that. Network terminal. So, I wish I liked network terminal, I don't. I tried that card last time somebody suggested it in a deck like this. Really didn't work. Just never, never any point to the ability. The Cinder Wind. Uh oh. Aggressive Wizards. We're in trouble. We are in big trouble. And we're on the draw. I mean, this hand is okay. But we're in big trouble. Reality chip in the deck question. No. Not that many things to attach it to. Kind of does nothing without another creature. Not the point of the deck. Oh my gosh, these bats, you guys. They're so noisy. Silence. Jesus. I've got cats that are less devalicious. Uh. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I don't know if this is right. I already have one of these. That's a draw. <laughs> nice O2. Your commander is useless. Bow before my power. Magic, Magic Mike? Mono blue versus mono blue, but you have a Chandra avatar? Weird. 
Okay. Midget the Gathering. <laughs> uh oh. They didn't play out their commander. I can ramp too. Did you do the voice of Jin? What kind of idiot are you? Jin did the voice of Jin. That's like ask, like who did the voice of CGB? I did. Duh. What are you talking about? <laughs> Commander, no work. Why my commander's no work? We're giving people a lesson in Frogify. Alright. 24 turns to go. If we just go for engine, it probably gets countered here. I think what I'll do is waste their mana, end step, zenith. Their end step. What you got? I know you hate it when I draw cards, so I'm confident you'll counter this. All right, you get a six mana card. Wrong. Good thing you don't have the mana for it. Guys, do they have wash away? If they have wash away, I'm gonna cry. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. It's too important that we get these cards. I mean, they're blue and they're in commander. They definitely play wash away. So we may as well respect it. Opponent thinking some aggressive thoughts there. Whoa, opponent. Whoa. The tome? They're not gonna let me resolve that tome, are they? No, they're not. So I should scare them with whir, but we already have the combo in hand. So I should use the whir to draw out a counter spell. I kind of want them to cast their commander again and just use some mana, so maybe I should attack them with Chadwick. What are the other artifacts in our deck? I mean, we've got a lot of them, but they're like mana rocks, right? I guess I can go for key. Key would be pretty good. All right, so we can work for key on end step. All right, no joke. I... Nah, don't give them their commander back. I almost want them to have it back so that they try to cast it. So we end the stalemate of doing nothing. Because, I mean, this has got to be like all counter magic, right? So we've got to break through. You know they're scared of War of Invention. That resolves. <laughs> what are you doing? They're like four. What's at four? What's not at four? It's X or less. I can do anything. Discontinuity. Discontinuity. You want to end this turn? But we were having so much fun. All right. It's fine. It's fine.
a land. Give them the business. You're gonna respect yeah, you're gonna respect a Chadwick. Whoa. Really? Really, opponent. Two mana open? It's like they want me to get them. Right? I tap your mind stone? You get key anyway. Okay. Okay. If I get Tome down, do they lose to Tome? Like, just straight up? How about this? If I get this down, do they lose to this straight up, or are they gonna, like, invoke it? There's a decent chance they invoke it if I play that right now. I don't think that's the way. There's a lot to think about in Brawl, man. There's a lot to think about. And most of it, you're just wrong because they're one ofs. But when you're right, like, if they have the right card in the right moment in Brawl with the mana to cast it, it is so devastating. Yeah, Light of Hope. Taste it. All right, now they have all this open mana. We have to start drawing out counter magic. You know who's good at drawing out counter magic? And also... is a pretty tough guy. This guy. <laughs> it's me. It's me. It's Chinny G. 169 for 20. What do you know? A counter spell. Uh-huh. Nice block. You're not fooling anyone with that. <laughs> I'm not the voice. I'm doing an impersonation. Ginny, Jin Gitaxis is Jin Gitaxis' own voice. Why is this so difficult? We definitely have Jenga Taxis in the chat here sometimes too. You can tell. Also in the YouTube comments because the account's called definitely Jenga Taxis. <laughs> Fuck. Five cards left, guys. How do we run them out of good cards? How do we play some uncounterable things, too? Let's try this. Actual fog, yes. Yeah, I'm trying to get duress. That's a good call. But also, if they want to counter this trophy mage, good. You know? The Tome of the Infinite, the, the Tome of the Infinite is already on the battlefield. So this Trophy Mage, I don't know what you're afraid of. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Um. <laughs> wow, our opponent's the ultimate, Chad.
teach him a lesson, I guess. By the way, the Giga Chat emote should be live. I was checking that before the stream started. If you want to see some sweet Kirby's. Resolve? Oh my god, there's still stick. There's still stick. Uh, resolve. I pay. Alright, can they steal it? Can they steal it? Lol. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, opponent. I see. I see you are a superior magic player. Oh, dude, we're up against a real one. It is what it is. The fight of our life. Oh, I have a reliquary tower. Yeah. Of course I do. Of course I have a reliquary tower. Get in there. Bouncies. You want to respond? Test of frickin' talents. Test of frickin' talents. You're not gonna find one. <laughs> You're not gonna find any more, I gotta tell you that. Enjoy the look at this hand, though. It's all there. The combo awaits. I'm just looking for, like, one piece of protection to force it through. And this game is toast. Classic commander card test of talents. Counter? No maidens. Yes! Finally. Been waiting for that one. Been waiting for that one. <laughs> okay. It's like that. Make him pay four mana for that again. Thank you for the 12 months, Vaz Vertov. Oh, it's Chase. Think fast. That's a dig for a counter spell if I've ever seen one. Eighteen more turns to go. <laughs> what a what a blue versus blue matchup you guys have witnessed. Are you not entertained?
Duress. Ooh, double strike. That's something. I attempt to resolve Time Warp. If they've got one counter spell and they've got three mana, if they've got one counter spell, they can't use it on this. <sighs> Opponent. I will gain four. I tried to warn him. I tried to warn him, guys. I tried to warn him. Why the heck not? Oh wait. Oh man. I wanted to cast approach. I forgot to make white. Oopsie, so this is gonna be doubled. So what do we target? It doesn't matter what you target. We just play Gadwick there and draw, and then we untap, and then we double approach. Easy. Rafine. Have we, has we not played a fiend, Rafine? I don't think we played a Rafine. His hand is not good. Better, closer, warmer. Oh look, it's Ari the Just. The one who quit magic yesterday. I told you we'd see you tomorrow. Never wrong. When I collector deals combat damage to a player, each player mills a card. Terrifying. Copying approach works. It 100% works. I guarantee it works. When you copy Approach of the Second Sun, I guarantee you, you gain 14 life. What did you guys think I was talking about? What if there was no eye collector? Just a common citizen. Free the booters. They're people too. Untapped land, Jin? Never mind. I mean, thinking about naming Trophy Mage, that would. I would laugh. They found the right card, guys. They found the right card to name.
Three or less. Easy choice. One card can get us out of every situation, and it's Tome of the Infinite. Wait for it. Opponent afraid I'm going to block the legitimate business person, I guess. Brawl's expertise, huh? Now we just need the time to sack the inventor's bear. We need some duresses from the tome. Chadwick? Chadwick. Not into that much open mana, no way. No way, no way, no way. We we chill. We chill. Nice and easy. That eye collector man, they're they're out to mill me to death. They're on a mission. No, my Atawara. Esper Sentinel, huh? I'm not afraid of paying the tax here and there. What I'm really wondering is, are we supposed to go fetch Paradox Engine here? Do we give up our Inventor's Fair for a Paradox Engine right now? Or do we hold... And ...try to play this out a bit? Except that they probably have a counterspell. I think we use our mana right now. I think we use it now. Eventually, we hit a duress, right? It will happen. It takes positive thinking and willpower, nothing else. This Graven Lore will be helpful, because they probably have to deal with that. The Eye Collector continues its beatdown. Um, sure. Inquisitive Puppet, why not? Our opponent has probably built the most insane Rafine deck I've ever seen. I don't even know... Like... Why? <laughs> Thoughtseize. My engine... I guess we have to let the engine go. How do we get it back? We have to reshuffle the deck. Um, we could hit a counterspell. We could hit a counterspell with the tome. No, that's a force spike. Yeah, we can't hit a counterspell here. I guess we let it go. Let it go, let it go. Yep, memory or midnight clock. Shuffle it back in, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Or we'll win them with we'll win with sheer attrition boredom. These are also options. Sure, those cards are good. Beautiful. Why'd I make white? I thought I was going to pay this, but it only triggers once a turn. Five head strikes again. Look at me, using Celestis to turn the sh just the absolute garbage delivered by the tome into real cards. 
Hey, Shard, how you doing today? Do you pay the one? The one in best of one always pays the one. You can take that to the bank. Cormella? Cormella from The Sopranos? Big fan. We'll definitely be yoinking. You can take that however you want to. Rude. Opponent is superior at magic so far. I told everybody when we when when I built this deck, I told them, man, I told them, you're gonna be disappointed because this is not a Jenga Taxis deck. It's a Paradox Engine deck. You're all gonna be whining. How come your Jin hasn't done anything, CGB? And that's why. It's, I, I tried to warn them up front. I tried. Why is there no Emery? Because Emery sucks. Emery's a great commander. Emery's not a great 99er. Rude. Opponent's, opponent's hand is insane. This is a tough choice. This is a tough choice. I'm discarding this because I think there's a good chance that my key to the archive doesn't make it. And it's just too much to gamble on. Needed one more land badly, guys. Didn't get it. Didn't get it. So, high reward, high risk, high reward play? I think so. You think they have another counter spell? They always do, right? They always do. Or not, which is fine. <laughs> Screw you, dude. What the hell? Frickin' brawl. Barrel. Frickin' barrel. Wall. The 
essence of life is inseparable from the essence of death. I can't freaking land when I need one. And look at their cards. Insane. It's like the cards I run in Evelyn, but they're lining up so much better with this commander than they do when I play Evelyn. Give him the business. Yeah. That worked? Wait, that worked. Don't remove it, please. Okay. What you got? What you got? I need another turn against Onyx and Ezkanta flipped. One counter spell has to hold. That's asking a lot, guys. That's asking a lot. That's asking too much. It's asking too much. Hmm. So how many discard effects did they just find? Well darn, looks like you flunked out. I want that brazen borrower to kill the onyx. Kemba, thank you very much for the prime. For all the kindness. Jin? I guess we found the matchup for you. Can copy this when I cast a spell, but I also want to blow up that Ascanta. Guys, do we blow up the Ascanta or cast the into the royal? Remember, their first instant gets countered, and this can protect these. Like, we can actually play this, copy it, bounce this, untap this, then brazen borrow something. Patience. You guys are, like, terrified that they're going to activate as Kanto once and beat us. Let's, let's find out if that's true. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Oh, cast that, cast that, cast that, cast that, yeah! Yeah, they knew it as soon as they did it. <laughs> Not Jetmir again, no. Oh my gosh, so much Jetmir. It's like gotta be our like most impossible matchup. Okay, whatever, whatever, at least it'll be fast. At least it'll be fast. At least it'll be fast. Well, that sub was nice. KD7JHD, 18 months. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Hey, Murph. Hey, hey. Hey, Murph. Hey. Hey. Hey, Murph. Just, just, I know, I know, man. 
Welcome to the stream. Just make your play. Trust me, my hand sucks. You don't need to see it to win. It's not worth it. Yeah, we go for the time walk. We go for the time walk. We go for the time walk. Come on. Go, baby. Go, baby. Go. Come on. Mute your stupid, ugly bat. Oh, come on. You were there the whole time. Hmm, I guess I'll put back land. Seems fine. Good, good news, guys. We're gonna curve out. It's very important. Mom! Mom, I'm on a stream! Mom! Go, baby, go, baby, go. All right. A lantern. It's only one creature on the field. Leer. That's pretty cool. All right, guys, solve the equation. What do we get? Counterspell? Easy. Easiest equation I've ever solved. Although Counterspell doesn't go well with Leer. You know what does? This card does. Reliquary Tower, no. Not like this. Parallel lives. We're gonna we're gonna token. Tokens are happening. Okay, I see you. Remember, this is the Alchemy Leer, so we have to play the spell on our turn. You guys are making fun of me, but they have no creatures on their board right now. None. That, that is a card you can cast. Roar! Now I just need to draw a card draw. Won't be fine. Hopefully their token makers are artifacts and instants and sorceries. Eh? Opponent? Eh? What do you think of that? Artifacts, instants, and sorceries? You got those? Balls. Oh god. Big draw. So big. And hate this card, man. Um, hmm? I guess I have to. Let's do this first. Okay. Okay. You've been spell pierced twice. How you do? Turn clock. Charm. <laughs> Need lands? Need lands, kid? Rivers re frickin' buke. Let's go. We already duplicated this turn.
Hold. <laughs> Waking the trolls? My, my castle Vantress. I think we gotta let it go. You gotta let it go, sir. But I want them to attack first. But I need the mana if I'm gonna also charm something. So I guess I'm not gonna charm something? I can beat this, though. Patience. Uh, nice. Castle? Woodland Champion, sure. Jetmere, Nexus of Owned. So, let's see. Six or more creatures. One, two, three, four, five. So these will be two ones. I block one, I take four. Okay. Easy. Literally no risk. Haste creature defense, go. Just don't mind me. Chilling at two. Chilling at two. Everything's fine. We're gonna get a replicator ring to pop. Everything's fine right now. I think I just let that be. I think I've got to draw better cards. I think I have to use this for card draw. If they're going to play that, it gives me more time, I think. Because they're not going to beat me next turn. I've got more lands. I'm fine. There we go. There we go. Come to Papa. There we go. Question is, how do I see more cards? How do I see more cards, chat? That's the question. I don't need a copy of this Paradox Engine. I need more cards.
Come on, cards. Okay. I'll take a copy of that. It's fine. But we can't pop till we draw the right cards. So we chill. We do have a waking the trolls trigger to consider. Oh my goodness. What is this game? All right, the lives have paralleled. The Trustani tapped out. We lapse it. And we lapse it again. I wish I'd exiled the land from the graveyard with the heirloom. That would have been slick, slick, but I forgot. You are a land. Come on. At this point, I should have got Tome of Legends. I thought I had enough to win there. I did not. How are we going to do it? Okay. I think I'm going to lose, guys. Think I'm going to lose. Gotta draw a big card here. It's the only way! Hmm. Let's hope the conclusion of Top Gun Maverick is better than the conclusion of the stream. But without question, that time has come. And we are back for the post-game wraps. Let's check out the stats powered by MTGA Assistant for Jin Historic Brawl. Our first day playing the deck. Seven wins, three losses, 70% win rate. And uh, like I said at the beginning, we dropped the first two games. And of course, you saw the drop in the last one where I think I significantly... Uh, in hindsight on that one, and I've been thinking about it all night, I, I think I significantly misplayed that game uh, in a number of spots, but particularly getting Paradox Engine instead of Tome of the Infinite. If I get Tome of the Infinite, I have a mana, like an advantage generating card that can get me out of that situation. It needs some RNG, it needs some help, but it's possible. Uh, but uh, getting Paradox Engine and sitting there doing nothing for a few turns... There are a lot of draws where that we win that game, but there's enough that we don't that that was the wrong play. So I significantly misplayed in my last game of a long stream, not weird, and I definitely misbuilt the deck and lost two of those games. Then there were the seven wins, uh, pretty good. I guess it shows some raw power of the deck and its ability to tilt opponents into oblivion and it gives potential to the mono blue kind of just paradox engine archetype even with kind of a meme commander, to be honest. There are probably other commanders that we could run in this spot. For example, we could take the Leer or the Gadwick completely out of the deck and put it into the command zone and still run the same deck. And it would probably be a little better for it, just having a cheaper commander uh, that we could build around a little more efficiently than Jin. But hey, the people want Jenga Taxis. For some reason, has many fans on this channel. Even somebody in the comments with the sus username definitely jenga taxis running around give them what they want you know try to take care of the people i know what they really want is some prismatic bridge maybe we'll do some historic brawl with that as well soon and what they really want is 130 cards but no i not without a yorian am i going over 60 cards never it's not gonna happen unless of course the uh, cursed number actually gets achieved
But that won't happen, right? That would require way too many of you to actually subscribe. Did you know that over 30% of the viewers on this channel are not subscribed? They could get me to 169 420 today if they just hit subscribe. Are they going to do it? Are they? Thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next video. You're cool.